1,000, 1050. I got 1,000 bid 1050. Anybody else? 1100, 1150. I got 1150, 1200, 1250, 1300, 1350. 2000. Huh? 2000. 2000. 2100 anywhere? 22, 23, 24, 3, 3,000, 31, 32, 4,000, 41. Is that a yes? I want to make sure. 42. 43, 44, 5, 6100. I got five here. Anybody else? Last call, 5100. Sold. What? Some people don't believe that I spend this type of money on any of this. They say a lie. There's $5,000. So, everything, sir. What is, what's the 10%? 5? Plus oh, 5 10%. I did this again. I did this again. That's time, remember? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, this is incredible. It is pirate time. We are back. I just bought another unit. Huge money. 5000 plus 10% premium. We paid $5,500 for this storage unit. We're about to take a look. This will be the first glimpse. You can see what's in here. I'm excited. Let's see. What I saw, because you're only going to get a quick glimpse. You see cap guns. You see military hats. You see lock boxes. You see boxes of military hats. Everywhere you look is something to do with possibly police, possibly military. Everywhere you look is something. There's a poster I think was right here. Come on, World War II stuff. This is crazy. These are all military manuals. Look, these are all those cap guns. Let's pull something out. These two would probably be good. Okay, let's start right up here. Let's do this one little thing right here because this is kind of cool. That's how we open safes, ladies and gentlemen. Not a first aid kit. Oh, what's this, Michael? Quite, because World War II wasn't well, green, right? That's looking good, man. If he's stacking caps like that. Yeah, especially in just one box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Military. Oh, 67. So that's Vietnam, right? Yeah. Nice, we got almost 20 of them right there. What do we got in here? Mm -hmm. Looks like surplus. Military hats. Ooh, these are, uh, these are good. Michael, you see anything you, uh, Right off the bat, you think things good? You're my military expert yeah, here. Like these, these, uh, Oakland. This guy must have had a military surplus store or something. U.S. Paul. U.S. New Jersey. Top Gun. There we go. Nice. There's got to be a few bucks in here. All right, on to the next one. What is all this stuff, though? It is still a surplus store, huh? Now this guy, I think this guy just collected oh, oh. surplus. What is that? What is that? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. That's good. That's real good. Yeah. Well, it's good that it's under. Look at these hats. Come on, show us something good, Michael. Pull something good it's out of here, It's all good. Michael. It's all surplus. This stuff all sells. Does it? Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. Look, uh, it looks pretty nice. Inside the mind of a $5,500 storage unit. Oh, we need to find his hat right there. <laughs> It'll be in there. This hat right here. That's probably It'll gold. It'll be in there. Man. All right. Presented to Franklin Burke, Hammers, 50 years of loyalty to Omey on the occasion of the Golden State anniversary of the class, president, alumni, 1988. What is this? Already, that is our signatures. Ooh. Ooh. This is a good sign, ladies and gentlemen. We found five hundred dollars cash. Woo! All right. Nice. I don't know what it is, but nice. Ooh, let's take turns and do this on each other, Alex. No. Come on. I'll let you go first, but no. you gotta go second. How about I just do both of you? At the same time? Oh, you you just spray both of us? Yeah. Oh, look at you, guys. Come on. USS Coral Sea, CB-43. USS Missouri, BB-63. What do we got here? This is a unit full of stuff that people don't have anymore. Oh yeah, this is, there, well, especially World War II stuff. We're getting to the point where not many people are uh, actually alive from World War II. Right. Oh, 
Oh, the dog. What's that? That dog that looks like a uh, Star Trek. Ooh, they reversed it, I'm good. Yeah. There's something in here. Stock. Yeah, but there's part of a... It's a... Um, Sorry, I have to call you. AR-15 stock. That's an AR-15 stock? Yeah, you got the buffer too. Oh, show me. Alex, let me show you. Oh, oh, what is that? The Rifleman. Where's the rest of that? They got more, uh... Oh, <laughs> that is kind of cool. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this $5,500 unit is about to be, I think, good. I like when you start seeing cool things that right off the, the bat. Wait, who was the Barbie? Was he, he was... Oh, that was C Captain Kirk, I think. Huh? Now they're uh, spent. Spent. Oh, oh, nice. What is that? And what is that? Oh, wow. A Russian belt. Tell me that's not nice, I'm Michael. About this. Oh, yeah, that is a part of a. That's part of a. Uh, Maybe a mortar. I don't even know what we should call that. It's a mortar. Look at this. An M2. 9973 60 millimeter. Wow. This is old. This isn't, uh, yeah, like a... I'm trying to be careful here. I'm trying to. Ooh. This is what scares me right here. Seeing yeah. stuff like this. It's inert. If it's oh, blue like this. What? Because that's the part of a grenade. That's the stuff you want to see. I don't want to find a grenade. Well, I mean, honestly, you're probably using that. No, that's, that's what you want to see. Have you ever called. Have you ever had to call the bomb squad because you found a grenade and it was fake and then you got laughed at by the whole entire Pittsburgh Police Department because you called them out for, yeah? <laughs> what is that? What do you think that is? Well, if you aren't too happy about that grenade, you're not going to be too happy about this. Here's a C4. knife. Ooh, Should we back up? No, I think you're all right. C4. C4. You guys should get some footage of this. They recorded it. I unbox a fifty-five hundred dollar unit. Oh, cool packs. No. MREs? Shouldn't be. MRI. No, no, yeah, this is it. Oh. <laughs> what is it? It's a Claymore. Are those oh, live? Oh wow! No. How do you know they're not live? They're blue. Crap. If you, uh, you know what it says on the inside of this? What? Do not eat. You got the whole thing. You got this. So yeah. there's a practice? What it, what, I'm confused. Yeah, so they use it to train. You put the blasting caps in there. Here's the wire. You got the whole kit. Oh my, I'm, I'm now officially scared to go through anything in here. My legs hurt. Oh, no, this is good. <coughs> Front, torque, <coughs> enemy. You have the tester. Wow. And then you have the uh, clacker. Oh my gosh. Can we, if we find a real one, can we make a video letting it off somewhere? Or are we going no, to jail? No, that's probably not a good idea. All right. Is the camera on? Yeah. This is a few hundred bucks right here. And this is in... Look at these documents. Ooh, Dude, I see yeah. these in not so great condition. What is that one? Commanding officer. What is that year on it? What do you got there, Mr. Store? Soccer Russia. This stuff is nice. 1990. I see a $100,000 locker, baby. There's some crazy. form. Good crazy yeah, what, uh, good it's, crazy. it's looking pretty freaking good so far. Everything seems to be military parts for like. I know, right? There's a live Claymore in the There was a Claymore set, but it was a, a training set. I've never seen this one. This These orange stripes represent somebody's uh, level, right, Michael? Yeah. Same with the blue stripe. Huh? Uh-uh. Wow. This is phenomenal. And the bars represent something. Let's get another box out, guys. No, this is a, a let's see these model these guys. Contra that's a vintage Contra Costa Sheriff. That's airborne. Michael, you have any uh, idea on these things? Patches and badges are always good. That is an older jacket. Even this says USS on it. I think everything is military. That's all right. Yeah, see, look. What'd I tell you? Nice. 
Oh, look at bubble gum. There's something in it. <laughs> no, that's the. That topper. was bubble gum. That's said. the flavoring for Top Ramen noodles. <laughs> 1943, World War II. Yep. That is a Claymore or a book? A book. U.S. Rifle Caliber 30 M1. I'm a little hungry. San Francisco. Need some help with that? I got right there is a trooper. I say that as I'm looking at an airborne jacket and really I'm saying this man over here is a trooper right there. These are nice right here. I don't know nothing about them. Yes, oh my god. Wow. Old matches. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to get ready for a lot of videos on this. Here. I'm going to take this. I I've already feel like I'm going too quick for you guys. What is that? Michael? A booby trap? A sim Oh. Simulator booby trap. Nice. Can you elaborate? These, uh, well, you got to look up the number. If these are... Um, these usually screw into the grenades. Nice. Date. I feel like I want to go through the rest of these totes here. With them being pristine like that in the back. Looks real. Look at that Buddha. Mm. Kinky! <laughs> you better watch where you're putting into those holes. Oh, <laughs> this got something for you. Oh. <laughs> no, it's for a guy. It goes like here. Will you model this for us, Alex? <laughs> no. All right. It's all in here. You want the whole thing? No. Uh -uh. Oh, man. This is going to be a really good locker room. I'm nervous. Ooh. Cut to commercial. Nuts and bolts. Yeah, those are like. Now these ones are worth uh, more. I know what that yeah, is. Yeah, this what is, is it? Flat ammo. You think so? No, so. That would be ball ammo. Okay. There we go. All right. Interesting. Okay. Two, two, two three, three Remington. Remington. That's the most common one everybody asks for. Yeah, it's the AR-15. Oh, nice. Come on, universe. Give me a gold mine. Junk. What's that? I'm going to say loose rounds. Yep. Nine millimeter. Not bad. It's been here a while. Right off the bat, intrigued me is I was thinking this was a tweaker unit, but the dust, the military stuff. There's so many cans back there. It's oh, ridiculous. Wow. Wood ammo box. Wow. What's the name on this? Oh, and the, is it signed by somebody? Wow. This is this General is creepy. <laughs> Interesting. These are pretty bracing. What do you think that's worth, Michael? It's a base, but it's cracked. That was kind of a nice face. Wow. Come on. Come on, Michael. Teach us something. Show us. World War II? World War I? It looks like it. Pre World War II. German. Is that German? Yeah, I don't think it's. <sighs> Look at this one. Marines. Marines. This is all you want to see is MacArthur. Like a doughboy at? A 
That's nice. Why they put that smooth on top of it? What do you mean? So oh, they, they, they probably repaired it. There. Gas mask. Don't look at the bottom. Yeah. Oh no, I thought that was something else. Yeah, but I this one is a, uh, uh, let me see this. That might look good, dude. I can't really show that because it, I could tell you that that's a real patch. I could see by the way it is. Wow. Yeah, the piping looks good. This could pay for the unit right there, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe yeah. not quite, Mike, but right? Mm -hmm. This is the type of stuff you see Harold asking like 1500 for on his booth when you go yeah. there. Holy moly. It's in great shape. It's impeccable shape. Yeah, which is kind of scary. Yeah. Well, no, it's not scary because it's people take care of it. If you look at everything, you can tell this is original. Look at the way the seam is there. You look at that type of stitching. You look at this stitch. This is original. It's just in really good shape. I have a black light on me. What you do is get a UV light and yep. shine it right on here. And if this is this one said BAM, and I wanted to see in it just because it said BAM. We're probably gonna do this one and one more. I'm gonna call it, guys, because uh, I'm just overwhelmed already. Smart, BAM. Ah. That's good, though. Easy money. Yeah. Oh, what is this, like military curtains? Yeah, it's like sheets. So. Military panties? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Who knows what you're gonna run into since you found that other thing. These are bags. Look at this doll. This is some weird stuff. I like the way you played that off, Michael. Thank you. We <laughs> respect you now for that. There's going to be some cash in here. You think there's going to be straight cash? This right here is manifesting right now, and so we need to mark this for the energy of the universe. What do you say we're going to find here? Some cash. And what? We're going to find some cash. And, there, and, there, and I feel like a green, old green, rusted safe. Like the kind that has like the little yellow trim on the side, like a yeah, flower. Yeah, green, like, like kind of like this, but with rust. <sighs> rust. Oh, yikes, I hope you're right. This is a World War II piece of cardboard right here. Go ahead. Want me open it? Yes, please, storage doctor. <laughs> what is this one? I've never seen this. Is that, tell me that's a unicorn. That look like a unicorn to you? Nope. Damn near. This one don't have nothing on it. Tell me what this is, Michael. I don't know. I've never seen it. I've never seen that either, and I can tell you that's original. What you got there? That's that's uh, just American. Not that that's bad, but certain ones good, certain ones bad. What do you think, Michael? Ooh, there's Russia. Look at this. What is this, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I asked this last time I had a good unit. I'm going to need help. I'm going to need a lot of help on this one. What's that? I don't know. We'll see right now. And what is it? It's military something. It's an award. A belt. British Army of the Rhine. Minor unit hockey competition, 1950. This is crazy. Look at that, what is it? Oh, is that, a, that's American, right, Michael? I'm pretty sure that's American, but that is nice. That's old. Yeah. Michael's in heaven over here. I know he is. He regrets he didn't break the bank for this one. What's that? Oh. Uh, Ooh, it's autographed. <laughs> this is very interesting. Look at this. It's the eleventh. This. Look at these awards or the. Or these books. Girl? Is it German or American? No, it's American. These are just unbelievable. See, now look. It's got the 
work. I wonder what. Uh... You know, it has the Adams. That's a German one, right? Yeah. Oh, pick it up, see if it's in there. It's not. No. Oh. This? Yeah, that would be like two to five grand. Yeah, it would. Just that alone, though, is a few hundred bucks. That's what uh, the, they call them a Ruger? No. Luger. Luger. The German Luger goes in. That's a few hundred bucks. Right, Michael? Mm hmm God, do you understand the history that goes... You know, like, that That thing was carried through World War II and just uh, the sheer intensity of the stuff that's in this. Wow. Duh. Oh, I thought it was like a cheap movie. Some of these patches could just oh, be... Wow. Never seen that patch before. This Russian or this American? That looks American. Michael, all these boxes are like that. You're gonna shatter your last rose auction. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh, it's got the matching hat. Oh man. Yeah, it's nice. to learn, right? I'm learning too. Storage stalker's nervous to go through the boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Comment below if you think he shouldn't be nervous. Nice. Oh, man. You know how I am when I get a unit, I just wanna go straight to the back. Wow. What is that? I don't know. That will be it for this first video. Don't forget, there'll be plenty more to come. Probably like 50 videos in your home, Alex. If that boy... <coughs> He's allergic to dust. I, I can tell you right now, I had a feeling. I wasn't sure about this unit before I got it. I thought it was tweaker. I had to be in front of it to smell it. I am quite confident this unit is going to be a solid gold mine. I haven't seen as much military stuff come out of the first few boxes in a long time. I love military servicemen. I thank every one of them that fights for our rights and our freedom, not to mention the historical value to understand where these pieces have been, the stories they tell. There's going to be so much coming out of this $5,500 unit, guys. Stay tuned. I love y'all. Pirate time.